Driving tanks underwater, which is called deep wading, may seem cool. Okay, maybe not as cool as balancing a beer on a tank's gun. Nevertheless, deep wading can be dangerous. While driving underwater on a riverbed or lake bed, the only thing that's keeping you alive is a snorkel that reaches above the water and supplies air for the crew and the engine. The snorkel can be several feet tall with various width. NATO nations prefer to have a snorkel that's just wide enough for the crew to escape in case the tank gets stuck. Meanwhile, Russian snorkels are only a few inches wide, making it unpopular among Russian crew. The upside is that it's easier and quicker to set up. If the tank gets stuck, it would need to be towed back to the surface before the crew can be rescued. That's why the crew is equipped with air supply devices that can last up to two hours. In 2019, during a routine deep wading exercise, a Russian tank's engine stalled while underwater with only one of the two crew members making it out alive.